This paper dollar bill, yes I will, yes I will. They have all the guns, all we are is flesh and blood. We will multiply our numbers and drink over my dead body, over my dead body, over my dead body, over my. They have all the power, that's what they said. Operate the world over my dead body, over my dead body, over my dead body, over my. They say they will incorporate the world over my dead body, over my dead body, over my name's uh, Adam Staniszewski, uh, originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but uh, me and my girlfriend Jillian are in Reno for the uh, summer. I've been playing banjo for probably about six months or so now. I've been playing in the style that I'm playing now, claw hammer, for about three months. Um, I did the transition from the, the, between the two main styles, uh, bluegrass, which is like finger picking style banjo, versus like old time, which is the claw hammer, which is more rhythmic. Um, I got into the instrument uh, sometime around last year. I uh, got it at a pawn shop for about like 130 bucks, and so you know I just started practicing from there. Uh, I had been. My friend's band actually is traveling around the country right now. They call themselves Black Death All Stars. And uh, it's like a banjo and fiddle and guitar and whatnot. And I thought that Claw Hammer style banjo sounded, had like really unique sound to it. It had like that old time twangy sound while still like being rhythmic that you can sing along to like a guitar. And uh, mostly uh, I've taught myself how to play. Uh, I had a couple friends give me some pointers on like hand position and whatnot because you play it unlike you play any other instrument. Uh, but for the most part, like there's really not a whole lot of information in terms of books or what not for beginner students. So basically I've just gone online and downloaded tablature and uh, just practiced songs until I felt more comfortable and just increased the difficulty little by little. But for old time music and like folk music and like that type of style, a lot of it's just like passed down from generation to generation. You just learn from people who have been playing it. Like it has really, well, yeah, folk-like quality to it. It's not stuff that you normally just like study like strictly like a normal student. A lot of it is passed down. Uh, we saw this band, uh, well, this group of artists actually called Wapeket Island Records. And when they went up on stage and they were playing like banjo music and old folk guitar and stuff like that, they said, well, this music is yours. It's not our music. We're passing it down to you to learn and pass down. And that's one thing that I've always loved about folk music and bluegrass. It's really like people oriented in the tradition rather than just being technical. You Honey, baby, mine. We're gonna cry that strut and stuff, honey. So we're gonna cry that hole. 